this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Good morning, Explorer. I'm Izzy. And I'm Anthony. Today is Tuesday, December 20th. And you're watching EMSN. The trailblazer for today is Jacqueline Guthrie, nominated by Mrs. Grohmeyer. Good job, Jacqueline. Go to the front office and collect your prize. Oh. I am so hungry, Anthony. What's for lunch today? All right, today for lunch we have nachos with meat and cheese, pepperoni pizza, and a fruit and cheese bag. Delicioso. Go. There's a lot of things going on this week, Izzy. Yeah, that's true. There's a Girls Who Code meeting tomorrow at 8 a.m. And there's also a robotics club meeting at 8 a.m. in room 402. Also, in room 404 at lunch, there's a World Bible Club meeting led by Ms. Sonar. Why is your chair like that? Fine. Now here's Cheesy Jokes with Jose. Cheesy Jokes 2, which might be better than the first one I made. What did the tree say after a long winter? I don't know. What did the tree say after a long winter? Um, what a relief. What did the tree say after a long winter? I don't know. Um, now what a relief. What did the tree say after a long winter? I don't know. What a relief. I'm Olivia, I'm more summer than you. What did the tree say after a long winter? snowman like to do on the weekend? Melt. Um, uh, they like to chill out. <laughs> what did the tree say after a long winter? Burr. What are we Wait. doing? Ha! 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 What did the tree say after a long winter? I don't know. What a relief. What did the tree say after a long winter? I don't know. What a relief. <laughs> <laughs> what do snowmen like to do on the weekend? Uh, I don't know. Chill out. Oh, snap. Snap. Oh, oh. Uh, what do snowmen like to do on the weekend? I don't know. Big snowmen. Um, Deep frost flakes. Yeah, uh, flakes. Uh, um, I think, I think they're they, long ones. They like to... Um, I think I like to chill out on the weekend. Oh my god, I did that! <laughs> hey Anthony, do you know anything about the Kindness Countdown? Yes, the Kindness Countdown challenge for tomorrow is a positive one. Yes, go out and think and say only kind things. You, you curly hair, Izzy, it looks good. Your hair is curly too, it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> My hair. Christmas is a religious holiday and a worldwide marvel. For 2,000 years, people around the world have been observing it with religious and other customs. Christians celebrate Christmas Day as the birthday of Jesus. Popular customs include enchanting gifts and decorating Christmas trees. 
People also attend church, share meals with family and friends, and wait for Santa Claus to arrive. Christmas Day has been a national holiday in the United States since 1870. In the early 17th century, religious form changed the way Christmas was celebrated in Europe. When the Puritans took over England in 1645, they vowed to rid of England and indulgence and cancel Christmas. By the popular demand, King Charles II was restored to the throne and with him came the return of the popular holiday. The pilgrims who came to America in 1620 were strict in their pure beliefs, so Christmas was not a holiday in the early America. From 1659 to 1681, the celebration of Christmas was not outlawed in Boston. Anyone showing the Christmas spirit was fine. However, in the Jamestown settlement of Virginia, Captain John Smith reported that Christmas was enjoyed by all. Thanks, guys. That's it for today, Explorer. And this has been EMSN.